help. Oh, personal space. Attention is required. The colonists have snapped. They demand more personal space and are barricaded inside their house until their demands are met. You arrive at the scene to see just to see a chair flying out of the window, smashing right in front of the crowd of concerned citizens. You hear the hysterical cries from inside. Leave me alone. I don't need to see any of you. As you come closer, the crowd turns to you. Options. He's all right. We, or he's right. We all need more personal space. All residences would grant more comfort, but provide less living space. Personal space is luxury cannot afford. All colonists will lose comfort. If we were a city merrier, we could see no problems. We'll just be able to more residences, and residence costs would be decreased permanently. And if we were a psychologist, we must harmonize the living environment. Home collective tech research costs is reduced. I don't think I can really afford to have less living space with residences. So I'm just going to have all colonists lose comfort for now. Which is unfortunate. Considering that could... We have one unemployed person here now. What if I open another shift at the electronics workshop? Or what about the grocer? Or the art store? Oh, okay, what are people complaining about? I mean, is it gambling? Gaming not working? Luxury not working? Okay, I guess open another shift at the art store then. Huh. Well. Meantime. I'm not... I don't know, it's been a while since the last dredger landed. Another one might come up soon. Although, maybe not, considering... Well, we're at 84% of research done, so... Okay, no, 282... Oh, okay, the rocket's on its way. I think we should have, we might have enough uh, machine parts to build the Mohole Mine in a soul or so. That would be nice to get started, at least. And yeah, I'm going to put it down here, I think. Yeah, there should be enough space for it here, I th believe. And hopefully it shouldn't kick up dust on anything nearby. Or rather, it shouldn't kick up dust on any of these. It should have pretty small dust radius, I think. Oh my goodness, we're down to five food. Okay. Uh. I think we need a lot more wheat. Hello. Potatoes. Turkeys are about to be harvested. And. Oh, we need soybeans. Try soil quality, I think. Another dredger has landed. There are Earthsick colonists. Okay, let's get a commander out there. And let's see, Fit Gamer. Okay, so he's not happy because we don't have an electronic store here. Well, I could do that, I guess. Um. that'll help, yeah, because, yeah, he, I guess he, he might be the only person complaining about missing gaming. Oh well. We're not getting any trade offers to get, oh wait, no, it's still going to be a while before our next response, I guess. Okay, we're almost there. Just a couple more machine parts. I, you know what? I could just start building the Mohole Mine now because why not? Oh, something just went idle. Um, yeah, let's place it there. And then uh, I'm going to need a cable. How about from the. Uh, huh? Wait, is the, this went idle? Oh. It's just slightly out of range of this one. Whoops. Well, if I can get the... 
Why did why did it build it that way? Well, if we can get this up and working, that should solve some problems. Yeah, we've got 299 now and 10 are in the construction site. This should get built soon. That would be so good. Yeah, and it looks like we won't have any dust problems. Although we might have waste rock problems, considering. I may have to get that waste rock liquefaction and set up some plants up here. Oh, you know, we've got, uh... Well, now that we're not extracting rare metals here, we don't have to worry about dust here. We could do something with that. I'm not sure what, though. Maybe more forestation plants, although I don't have any more prefabs at the moment. Okay, grass requires 10 water. We have enough temperature. So it's going to take a water yield before I can start planting grass. That would be nice, though. Or can we do... Can we do grass in addition to lichen? Maybe. Well, we'll see. In the meantime... We're using up a lot of metals. I think I'm going to have to set up an automatic metals extractor out here anyway. Okay. Let's see, um, I have to, oh, well, the problem is I want a dome here. I don't know, maybe I just set up a mine, a normal mine, I could just set up a normal mine here, perhaps. Although... Yeah, that looks like it would. Well, what if I did... Can I do an automatic metals extractor right there? Okay, yeah. I'll just do that instead. I guess that's where I should have put it in the first place, huh? Oh, they have to clear out all that waste rock, huh? Well, let's uh, go grab that. We use this transport to pick up the waste rock. Okay, that's working out fine. And you know, I probably should consider researching that breakthrough that will let me print drone, use metals for drone printing instead of electronic. Oops. Huh, the site is still being cleared. Okay, well, now it's cleared now, so that'll be fine. Although I think most of it's going to here. What if? What if I get the transport to take concrete from down there? and bring it up here. You know, maybe I ought to have another concrete extractor out here as well. Yeah, what if I put it here and then uh, connect a cable like that? Is that like in there? It looks like it might be. Alright, well, oh, we have one unemployed person here now, and one vacant residential slot, and a lot of disabled work slots. I guess I am going to need one more apartment building here. Alright, uh, wait, oh, did I forget to start dismantling, I forgot to dismantle this dredger. How are we on, we're at 94% progress, I don't know if this is going to... This might speed it up a bit. Wonder if I'm almost at the end of this. Oh yeah, we're almost done capturing ice asteroids as well. So, um, that'll be interesting. Okay, let's get... I think I'm going to need a concrete depot up here. Okay. How is the deconstruction going? Ah, We've got another problem on the horizon, a potentially devastating one. 
A famous leak site has just released leak logs and reports from our colony. They concentrate exclusively on the dredgers and elaborate on the evidence that we have contact contacted an alien civilization. Our sponsors were probably foolish enough to believe that a secret can remain hidden from the public in the age of information. The uproar is tremendous and the UN calls for an emergency press conference. The monitoring council of our sponsor was insistent on our participation in the event. It will be held via the interplanetary network. It will be the center of attention. The time lag will give us 15 minutes between questions to think of the best way to answer. There's no reason to hide the truth now. Good golly. Well, if we can just disassemble this a little faster, maybe we'll be able to get the answers we need in time for that press conference. Ah. RC Explorer just brought in materials salvaged from another destroyed dredger. Cost is reduced by another 50%. Although, well, I don't know if that's uh, going to solve this. Let's bring this back. There we go. Oh, we've captured ice asteroids. And we've got a completed a special project. Okay, capturing of ice asteroids has been successfully completed. With the use of special craft, we pursued and deflected the asteroids off their trajectory with nothing more than slight bumps. Thus, we have managed to gracefully steer large amounts of soon-to-be-easily-accessible water towards the surface of Mars. In this game of space failures, though, there's always a chance that the ball will hit the wrong pocket. Be ready to deal with a Mars quake. And yeah, we did have a Mars quake. It looks like four buildings were damaged. Mars is a geologically dead world. This means the smell core is solidified and cannot sustain a magnetic field, leaving the Martian atmosphere unprotected from the high energy particles of solar wind. Unlike Earth, Mars has no seismic activity. This is changing with the introduction of magnetic field generators, technological marvels, and at restoring a magnetic field for a purpose of terraforming Mars. While these devices won't quite create Mars quakes on a planetary scale, they can cause quakes within their immediate surroundings due to the way they function, creating hollows deep beneath the surface by melting away and even evaporating melt pockets. Thus, the Mars quake near Mars magnetic field generation are a direct result of the activity. The more generators operate, the more severe the quakes will be. Although, in this case, the quake was because of um, us landing ice asteroids here. Uh, let's see about the language. Our science team has deciphered the so-called language of the treasures. Each transmission consists of several desynchronized threads. Each of them sounds like cosmic stack, but when combined in the right way, they form a pattern which can be translated to binary. The information transmitted by the dredgers is surprisingly simple. They share data regarding clogged coerces, the status of their excavations, and the location of mineral-rich sites. You cannot identify the source in Coronis, as the dredgers do not use any call signs, but nevertheless, we are able to intercept their transmission and predict the sites of future landings. Dredger landing sites will be marked on the map. Inform me immediately if you intercept anything unusual. Okay, so what was damaged as a result of Mars quake? Oh, not our water tank. And also, uh, some of our wind grid. Shell heavy load. Well, I guess I need to start building some more shuttles. Try and fill that one up. Ooh, press conference time. Conference at the United Nations is about to begin. We'll be transcribing the communication on the fly. Give or take five minutes or so. Mr. President, Mr. Secretary General, fellow delegates, ladies and gentlemen. For many centuries, humans have speculated that, in the great expanse of the universe, there should be life. Humanity never dismissed their hope for contact, and so, even before we could reach for the stars, we built machines to probe the space for signs of the existence of others. Until recently, our attempts were met with silence, and we had to rely on only on our unshakable belief. But today we have proof. We are not alone. Allow me to introduce you to the commander of Mars Alpha, our first colony on the Red Planet, who will personally address your questions. So options are, we can't speak to contact or conflict, but rather about unforeseen competition, or to make, to talk about making contact with the senior race is rather premature. Well, I think I'm going to go ahead with, say, that it's unforeseen competition. What we can confirm is that the automated vessels we encountered were of unknown origin. The vessels dismissed all of our attempts to communicate and proceed with their only mission to consume and transport resources from the surface of Mars. In another time, we would address their activity with affectionate curiosity and excitement, but in the light of our current situation, this has caused great distress and concern in all personnel of Mars Alpha. Without bothering you with the tiresome technical details, the extraction and utilization of Martian resources is crucial to the success of Mars Alpha and our ability to sell in the solar system. Our colony's safety and viability is our utmost priority. This is why I personally supervised operations denying the alien vessels the opportunity to extract and seal away the metal deposits crucial to our survival. I would ask those who might raise questions on the measure of our reaction. 
What do you call an aviary who deliberately tries to solve your attempts to lead a better life? Okay, uh, hard questions is up, but for the moment, I think I'm going to call it here because I'm at my time limit. So, thank you very much for watching. If you've enjoyed these videos, make sure to leave a like on them, maybe leave a comment down below. And if you want to see more of Surviving Mars Green Planet, make sure to click on that subscribe button. So that's all for now, and I'll see you next time. Yeah.